Hey everyone, today we're going to look at some Google Sheets keyboard shortcuts for those of you using a Mac or a MacBook. These are important to know because they save us a lot of time and effort and once you get it down they're pretty naturally flowing and don't really take too much effort to think about. So what you can do first is hit your command key on your keyboard with the slash, the backslash. And that opens this whole dashboard for keyboard shortcuts. And you can look through editing, menus, formatting, date, review, all of these things. You can search stuff up. And there's a ton of them, so it can be overwhelming. We're not going to talk about all of these shortcuts in today's video, but we're going to talk about some of the important ones that you can use today to help you save some time. So let's get started. First, there's the simple ones that you might already know, such as copying, pasting, find, undo, print, cut, open, stuff like that. So if you don't know how to use these already, let me show you real quick. For example, we'll type in a number here. And if you want to copy, you hit Command and then the letter C. And then this text, this cell will be copied. Then you want to paste it into another cell, you click on that cell, you hit Command and V to paste it. Pretty simple. Um, there's also the Find, Command F, where you can search something in a sheet. So you search that number, it'll show up all times where it is used. There's also Undo, which is Command Z. And then there's more simple things like that. But let's move on to our next part which is how to select a row or a column. Instead of selecting it by clicking on the top or on the left side, whichever row or column you want to do, say you already have your cell in the row or column that you want to click on because you're on some data, then what you're going to do is control space or shift space, depending on which one you want to select. If you want to select the column, it's control space. And if you want to select the row, it's shift space. Oh, that was command. Shift space. Now, if you have a string of numbers such as this, then if you click on a cell within that string, for example, we'll click on one of these, number two, and then you hit control space, which selects your column, it will just select what is in that range, that consecutive range. Now, if you click on something outside of that range while it's there and hit control space, it will still select the whole row, uh, whole column. Same thing goes for rows, shift space here selects that chunk. If you click on something outside shift space, it selects the entire row. Pretty simple. Moving on, we have find and replace. I, I could have mentioned this earlier, similar to the find, which is command F. This is command shift H and it opens up the whole find and replace uh, menu where you can find something and replace it um, at large. So say there's a word you've used many times in your sheet and you just want to redefine it by switching it with another word. You don't have to do it individually all those times. You can find all the times where you had it and replace them all at once. But I won't go in depth into that for this video. Next, there is ways to fill a range. So let's, let's type in a number here. If you want to fill cells neighboring, this cell you can fill to the right by clicking on the cell to the right and doing command r or you could fill the cell below down by clicking command d also command enter will allow you to first click on this cell and then drag all the cells you want to fill with the same information and hit command enter this is good when you want to carry functions across multiple rows or columns in your sheet. 
Next, we'll move on to more um, visually appealing shortcuts. For example, you can make a text bold by doing Command B. You can underline it with Command U. And you can italicize it with Command I. And then by hitting Command B, U, or I again, you will undo what you just did. So next, we'll talk about alignment real quick. So you can always click on this option up here, horizontal align. Um, you can either left, center, or right align text. And to do this through a keyboard shortcut, you would hit Command, Shift, and then either L for left, R for right, or E for center, E meaning equal. Command, Shift, L, R, E. Pretty simple. Now let's move on to some other um, at-large keyboard shortcuts. So there are Control, Shift, and Option, Shift shortcuts. Control, Shift shortcuts change the type of number format that you're using. So let's just get into it. Control, Shift, I creates a decimal format. It also adds the commas for a thousand places. Um, it also rounds to the nearest hundredths decimal place. Control Shift 2 creates a time. Control Shift 3 um, changes it to a date format, uh, months, days, years. Control Shift 4 currency, so dollars in this example. And then Control Shift 5 is a percentage. Control Shift 6 is scientific notation with an exponent. So pretty simple, you can play around with those and uh, once you memorize those, um, it, they become a lot easier to use. Then you also have Option Shift shortcuts which affect the border of a cell. So for example, Option Shift 1, I just clicked, creates, well, let me add a row so you can see it. Option Shift 1 creates a top border to the cell. Option Shift 2, yeah, Option Shift 2 creates a right border. Option Shift 3, a bottom border. Option Shift 4, a left border. Option Shift 5, or sorry, not 5, skip 5. 6 would be no borders, and 7 is full borders. So I just click 7 on this one. Let me click Option Shift 7 here to fill the borders, and now I'm going to click Option Shift 6, and it will clear all of those borders. Now I should mention that there are many other shortcuts you can use. A lot of them are sheet navigation shortcuts that allow you to virtually eliminate the use of your mouse so you don't have to click on stuff left and right. I, I hope you learned something and can take something from this video. If you have any questions about other shortcuts or the shortcuts we talked about today, please comment down below and ask whatever you would like to ask. Also, please like if you enjoyed this video and subscribe as always. Thank you.